Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a couple who longed for a child. After many years, their wish was granted, and the wife became pregnant. The couple was overjoyed, but their happiness was overshadowed by a strange craving the wife developed. One day, she noticed a beautiful garden next door, full of the most luscious vegetables she had ever seen. Among them was a patch of shiny, green Rapunzel. The wife craved it so much that she felt she would die without tasting it. She begged her husband to fetch some for her. The garden belonged to a wicked witch named Gothel. Despite knowing this, the husband loved his wife dearly and decided to sneak into the garden. He managed to pick some Rapunzel and brought it back to his wife. She made a delicious salad and felt much better. But the craving didn't stop. The wife wanted more, and the husband returned to the garden again. This time, the witch caught him. How dare you steal from my garden? She screeched. The man trembled with fear and explained his wife's craving. The witch softened a bit but still demanded a terrible price. I will let you take all the Rapunzel you want, but you must give me your child when it is born. Terrified but desperate, the man agreed. When the baby girl was born, the witch took her away and named her Rapunzel, after the plant her mother had craved. Gothel locked Rapunzel in a tall tower hidden deep in the forest. The tower had no doors or stairs, only a small window at the very top. As Rapunzel grew, her golden hair grew longer and longer, until it was over 20 feet long. Gothel would visit Rapunzel every day, calling up to her, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel would lower her long, golden braid out of the window, and the witch would climb up. Years passed, and Rapunzel became a beautiful young woman. She spent her days singing and dreaming of the world beyond the tower. One day, a prince was riding through the forest and heard Rapunzel's lovely voice. He followed the sound and found the tower, hiding behind the trees. He watched as the witch called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And climbed up. The next day, after the witch had left, the prince stood below the window and called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel, thinking it was the witch, lowered her braid. To her surprise, a handsome prince climbed through the window. At first, Rapunzel was frightened. But the prince spoke kindly to her and told her how he had been enchanted by her singing, they talked for hours and soon fell in love, the prince visited Rapunzel every day, and they made a plan to escape. The prince brought Rapunzel a piece of silk each time he visited, she wove the silk into a strong ladder, but before their plan was complete, Gothel discovered their secret. Furious, Gothel cut off Rapunzel's hair and banished her to a desolate land, she then used the hair to lure the prince who was heartbroken to find the witch instead of Rapunzel, in his despair, he leapt from the tower and was blinded by the thorns below. For many years, the prince wandered the land, searching for his lost love, one day, he heard a familiar song and followed the sound to Rapunzel, overjoyed, they embraced, and Rapunzel's tears of happiness fell into the prince's eyes, restoring his sight. The prince took Rapunzel to his kingdom, where they were married and lived happily ever after, as for Gothel, she was never seen again, and the kingdom flourished under the rule of the kind prince and his beloved Rapunzel. And so, the story of Rapunzel teaches us about the power of love and the importance of never giving up on our dreams.